Welcome to episode number 7 of the Drag Race Saints Relocation Franchise Series. And today, we're playing, obviously, Drag Race Saints Relocation Franchise. We're playing against the Minnesota Twins on Friday, August 28th, 2020. As uh, it's uh, Jordan Balabovich versus. Uh, who started this game? Versus Randy, Randy Dobnad, but I'm seeing. Uh, Chirino started this game, okay. Randy Chir. But yeah. Why is it at 405? But yeah. We are starting against the Minnesota Twins. It's. um Not what it's not. I was on the wrong one. But it's gonna be Jordan Balabovich versus Re sorry about that. It's um Jordan Balabovich versus Randy Dobnat. He's eleven and two with a three point three six ERA through ninety nine innings pitch sixty four strikeouts. Balabovich, obviously we down via free agency, um I forgot when I was at but season one hundred seventy one innings pitch, seventy nine strikeouts and a two point nine two ERA. Uh we're gonna look at the standings. Uh is that where I'll start where we are? Where are we Fifth. So, and I mean, we're third in pitching, third in power, ninth in contact, 21st in speed, and 19th in defense. And you did the, I mean, if you look, they're two ahead of us in time, they're seventh, they're first in power, only two, and then second in pitching, so we're, pr we're doing pretty well, if you ask me. They've won three straight, they've lost two straight. We're only 16 back. Yeah, we're leading the East. Twin only in the Central by the Indians over the Indians, and they're ranked 12. Twins are ranked 12. Asher leading the West. We're not being in trash, and they're ranked third. And then we're in that first wild card spot in the American lead with the A's and the Indians tied, but then it wild card spot in the American lead. And then the White Sox are in bad, and the Red Sox are not in bad, and then. Yeah, the Rangers doesn't it uh twelve names bad, doesn't. So then Braid lead the East, Cubs lead the Central, Dodgers lead the West, which um not really surprising. I mean they're first in pitching, but I mean if we're, look at us. We're third. So and then the na national Nomads right now are the two teams in the um in the na and uh two na uh, teams in the wild card. Or the two teams are in the National and Wild Card. Or the, the Nationals and I bet right now are the two and a Wild Card team. But the Rodney Tappet ain't bad. And the Phillies are three ain't bad. Marlins eight ain't bad only for the Marlins. And then Padres and Cardinals nine ain't bad. And after that, it's probably touch off. Probably touch off, I would say. I mean, the Marlins have an outside chance. That there's only a month left in the season. Phillies, good. And not have a chance. And obviously, the Rodney's are half a game bad. Um, and that's up still will be um, the last game of the season. Yeah, uh, yes, I did. There's a lot of division play here, but we'll find out that's up so if we're not, we have a chance to make the playoffs. Like, if we, like, you know, if I don't know if we can make the playoffs, or we can make the playoffs, like, I have to win and someone else to lose, or we made the playoffs already. Or I say we have to lo win and someone else has to lose or something, where we were to clinch or to not clinch in the last in the last game on the last day of the regular season, or we're not making it in the playoffs. But hopefully we don't choke in September. Hopefully that doesn't happen because I want the Saints to make the playoffs. You know we're doing pretty well in this this month, which last game it, it was um. It was this game, sending a name of three against the Red Sox. And we're doing pretty well. This is the last series of August. Well, yeah, last, se well, uh, the Chicano series starts on August 31st, but the last full series in August, like that starts in August and ends in August. And that series starts in August but ends in September. We don't play on Labor Day, and also if you look, why do we why do we get off Labor Day, and then we have two days that we got another day, so then we get two days off. It's right here. I mean the seventh, and then we play on the eighth and ninth, and we get the tenth off. And then obviously we got 
this month we got the set uh, the first Thursday of August and the third and fourth Thursday of uh, the third we got the first Thursday of August third Thursday third Thursday of August off and then the fourth Thursday of August off which is this day. Which we're taking on the twenty sixth because I can't really sim or it's not on a register because if I sim and then save it won't register that sim, so Let's do an ordination day, ordination game so we don't see a lot of games. Uh, so yeah, eight o seven seven ten Eastern. And the funny thing is, our home scene is at the Metrodome, or is the Metrodome, and the Twins played at the Metrodome. So it's, it's gonna be a little weird to see the Twins the road team at the Metrodome where they play before Target Field, and it has all its retired numbers or until Metrodome was um, not down or until they moved out of the Metrodome. Target Field opened in 2010, so they don't have like Joe Maurer up there, but they have like all the retired, all the numbers they retired before they moved to Target Field. So yeah, let's do it. I fold in the the snakes will be the gold controller and the one will be the blue controller. I don't know why does it show my lo the snake loader right here. I'm not sure. You can see our ERA, ERA 3.73, average 265. And there you are, it's 3.71 and an average is 271. So, here we go. It's I had to fit the uniform for them. That's a rise for the twins. Is I'm just going to go with the road. We don't have to pick their uniforms. We don't have home and road. And if you're at home, they automatically pick the home uniform. If you're on the road, they automatically pick the road uniforms. So, road uh, home uniforms for the snakes, road uniforms for the twins. And I see, and then you don't see a player. So, really, they automatically pick the home uniforms for the snakes. I wish there was an alternate, but well, I, obviously I want the road uniforms at home and the home uniforms on the road, so yeah. Let's do it. Wrong well, controller, sorry about that. Right, so, yeah, it does take a minute here. Right? This is not weird, I mean, and also next year, I wish they would have put an alternate, like they do in an NHL expansion draft, expansion draft franchise. And if they did, you can make, well, I can make it my own arena, but they take away the twins and all the branding. I, I mean, you can see. One, two, three, six retired numbers. Forty-two, obviously, for Jetty Robinson. Thirty-four, twenty-nine, fourteen, six, and three. That's one. And now it's seven at least. And I'm not sure there's any more. Not sure. Yeah, Herbert H. Hunter Metro holds four six thousand five hundred sixty-four open, nineteen eighty-two. Presentation mode broadcast broadcast steam sound only network. I guess. I'm not sure why it's not only that word, it's just a bit serious maybe, I'm not sure, but I didn't change it. That was a default for the broadcast team style, and then put counts on. Sorry, that's really bright. I'm not sure why it's like that. Uh, do I put plates now out there? I think I fade them to blah blah bit because, because it's thin. I don't want to mess up the... I remember, they have Brandon McKay, which I traded. Because he has a nine-year contract. And that... I don't really want him. He's one. I don't really want him for nine years. And yeah, I the two episodes ago we played the twins. Or I know another episode we did play the twins. It was in Minnesota, but now I'm playing twins again. I definitely was gonna film this episode or this game, one of the three games of the series where we're at home because I wanna because they're pretending they're gonna be on the road on the road, the road team at the Metro is like weird. Yeah, Burrios is ready too, but I don't know what the. And either way, I mean, look at that. Ryan Domat, I mean, has a lower ERA. He has, well, Bur I mean, Burrios has one more win, but he has six additional losses. Burrios has one more win than Domat, but Domat has six less losses than Burrios. So yeah, it's, and it's ready versus ready, 79 versus 78. I mean, 11 and 2, that's 3.36 ERA, and then 6 and 1 with a 2.92 ERA, and then. The, there's the day off, so I, I just for both teams because everyone on both teams basically are um, energy or um, full. As for some, and also remember Nate Lau, we traded as well. Yeah, I think he was in the he never played him in the majors for us. And then we also traded Willie Adamas, and then also O'Grady, and then Diaz. That's a big trade that did um, Miguel Sano and. Marwin Gonzalez. Could have went for Polanco. 
but the doll, the, I just, I just wanted a, a utility player. And Adolf is only a 13 home run, but he's bad in 293, which is pretty good. Almost 300. I mean, if you compare to last year, he has more RBIs. Last year, he had 15 home runs, and he can play anywhere besides pitcher, catcher, and center field, so. And then, and then, and then, uh, and then they, saw, they saw Darber, and then Alex uh, Avila. We have Astadia, we traded for him. We also have Mitch Haniger. As uh, so I'm gonna. And we also have Rosario, so I did. Uh, so yeah, Smith is in center. I just who's supposed to be in center? I just when there's a right. I think when there's a righty and a DH, and there's a DH is auto. I did. It used to be for Universal DH. So yeah, Martina. I have Jones is a DH when there's a right-handed pitcher and a DH, and right-handed pitcher and no DH, and then Martinez a DH. Jose Martinez is a DH when there's a left-handed pitcher and. DH and left hand pitch on and no DH and you no know, changes that lineup. So we have a lot of home run power, but then lead, lead it off. And then, yeah, no changes for either lineup. I am the play by play on the first game. So, yeah, well, I'm debating. Well, first of all, that, I mean, Cruz, they haven't played left field and because that is they have Tepler and Wright and then they have Palado the DH. I'm just gonna leave him out there because well obviously I did have him play right field in my all star day and my man since when Mark Shot to teenage franchise. He went fine. Either way he only had like six I think he has seven errors. Yeah, he has no five errors, five errors, so not atrocious and obviously a lot and he did play I'm not sure how many that he was a thousand field percentage in 2018, and not 17 and 18. I was playing outfield in 2019, but he should be fine. So yeah, no change for either lineup. I end up playing by play on for this game. Here we go. We are we are on the or we are live and on the air for another edition of baseball here on OB Network between the between the Minnesota Twins and the Dry Creek Saints. Major League Baseball and OB Network comes your way next. Jordan Bolovich, 12 starts in the 2020 regular season. Signed to be a free agent. During the season, six and one record, 2.92 ERA, 71 innings pitch, 71 hits, 1.38 whip, 27 walks, and 79 strikeouts. Signed during the season via free agency by the Dry Creek Knights. Here's Buxton, 28 stolen bases, fourth in the AL. As we are on your way from the Herbridge Hunter Metro in downtown Minneapolis, that's a ground ball. Their first one away to start the ball game. Here's the starting lineup for the Minnesota Twins. Uh, Byron Benson, Jorge Polanco as a DH. Luis Ryan Nelson Cruz playing left field. Mitch Darver, Josh Townsend, Matt Kepler, Lauren Adamas, and Nate Lau. 680 runs scored for the, tw the Twins in the 2020 season. Well, 580 runs scored by the Twins this season. Fifth in the AL in that category. So 580 runs scored by the Twins so far in the 2020 season. Uh, fifth in that cat, fifth in the AL in that category. Here we go, two two down to Falando. That's a line drive and it will fall in front of Rosario, the former twin. And Falando has the first hit for the team, first hit for the twin, the first hit for either team. First hit of the series by either team. Here comes a rise. He he has a high, had a higher average in July. Um, higher average in July, but he has more, uh, one more home run than he had. So he had a higher average in July than August, but he had more home runs and more RBIs in, in August. So, and then, well, I think he had a 289 average in home runs and RBIs in 
July and then what, 2, like 40 average, 2 point, or something like that, 240 average, I can't remember that that number for odd is, but two, like 240 average, one on my 9 RBI, so, pretty even. Here we go, runner at first, one away, two, three, one down. I said, liner in to left center field. Runner at first will go to thir third, and, and arises in with a wild double. And here comes Nelson Cruz, last fight in, 5 of 26, 192 average. Town. That's a fly ball. It should score. The third bit, uh, runner at third. The runner at third should score. It's caught by Meadows. Throw home is what at the first base line. He'll score. Even if it was on tardy, it would have been safe. And the runner at second goes to third. And the and the and the Twins score first. An RBI and a, a stack by an RBI for for Nelson Cruz and the Twins score first. Here comes Garber, runner at third, um, two outs as the Twins score first. There we go, two on down. It's a foul ball, two and two to the Twins catcher. Two to town. That's a fly ball. That you know, went pretty, pretty well with a die and a Smith's glove. To, to end the Smith's glove. The Twins get one run, two, it's no air, then. One one run, two hits, no errors, and run off for the Twins. Saints coming to the bat. You're watching Major League Baseball on LB Network. Randy Domnack. Seven, seven starts in the 2020 season, or 2020 regular, regular season. Or his, seven starts in 2020, 11 and 2 record, 3.36 ERA, 99 innings pitch, 91 hits, 1.23 whips, 31 walks, and 54 strikeouts. So he must have been out of the bullpen. Must have been in the bullpen. He must have. He's in the rotation right now, but he must have been, bu must have been in the bullpen earlier in the year. And then let's put in the rotation. And then they put that bullpen and bat in the rotation, but he had been in the bullpen for some time this year because they're only, this is only his eighth star in 11 and 2, so he must have been in the bullpen for some time this year. One on town. That's a drum roll against the shit! Going over is Cruz, who doesn't have much speed. And that's going to be a lean-off bill for Brandon Lau in the time in the center base with nobody out. 15 double of the year for Nate, uh, for um, Brandon Lau. Here's Eddie Rosario, the former twin. And we are at the Herbert Herbert H. Hunter Metro in downtown Minneapolis. Clearly, obviously, it's supposed to, like, Eastern time to 7.05 descended, but I replaced the Rays in there, obviously, on the East Coast in Florida. But tentatively, I can't say this is in Florida. It's, it's, it, this is in Herbert H. Hunter Metro in downtown Minneapolis. But, yeah. You know, right one on town. That's a round ball. Going to the uh, throw to first by Adonis is in time. One down. But, Loud is over third. Time on 90 feet away now. It's one away. And here's the starting lineup for the Dry Creek Knights. Uh, Brandon Lau, Eddie Rosario, Austin Meadows, Miguel Sano, G Man, Joy Mallet Smith, Greg Jones, Marlon Dodds, and Mike Zinino. 265 average so far in the point for the Snakes. Sits in the AL in that category. Here's Austin Meadows. One more down. That's a ground ball. Run will score. Throw to first by Adam. That's a former Snake. And it's in time. RBI drawn up by Austin Meadows, and we're tied at one here in the first inning. Score is now the tw Twins won, the Saints won here in the bottom of the first. And here comes another former twin, Miguel Sano. Wrong controller, sorry about that. Dominic is a four seam fastball splitter, slider, and a two seam fastball. Here we go, one on town. Swim and miss, strike two. And here the umpire sign for today. And here the umpire. Sign for today, or here are the umpires sign for tonight's game. Down the players, Kenny Jansen. Uh, he'll call that low pitch below the knees. And here are the umpires sign for tonight's game. Down the plate, Kenny Jansen. First base, Mike Fillmore at center base, Rusty Valentine at third base.
Jerry Hillsdale. If you hear that noise, that's my dog panting. She's like five feet away from me. Here we go. One, two, count. This is a forward time with Dale Snow. That's a pop up in the foul territory. Go, go over to his left is low, and he missed the catch on the edge of the warning track in foul territory. We're through one. Here at the match around the score is one to one. Way down here comes Josh Donaldson. Brings it down. That's a tab field by Volovich in front of the mound. Throw the first out of hurry, Don him. Well, no. And here's the defense for the dry trade snipes. Um, Eddie Rosario, Mal Smith, Austin Meadows in the outfield, T Man Choi, Brandon Lau, Ronald Wind and Dallas, Mendoza in the infield. Mike Zinni will be on the play, and obviously Jordan Bolovich on the mound. Tendently, Metro is in downtown Minneapolis. Is he a smooth minor leaker? Who? Jordan Bolovich? Um, yes, but he was in the free agent pool, I guess, and then he got signed after I started this franchise, and I signed him to be a free agent soon enough. He was in the free agent pool. He is a twin minor leader. I think he's on the double A play at Pensacola Blue Line. Is it the ground ball? Fielded by Sano. Two down. And yes, we are at the Metro, and it's kind of confusing, like, dry creek tonight, but they play at the Metro, and it is in downtown Minneapolis, or downtown Minneapolis. Here comes the former Snake, Roy Adamas. I believe it was part of the Medell Sano and Eddie Rosario trade. The ground ball. Allow. One, two, three to the Twins. Middle of two to the score, the Twins won, and the Snakes won. I mean, the crew that's doing this now, I mean, seeing that in my postseason, the crew, they like two crews are doing, doing the, the same day. I think it's the Ed Drummond, and then the other crew, I think it's James Kinsley in it. Then it's Ed Drummond, Pine Washington, Earl Hendricks, and Wade Taylor, and then James Kinsley. James Kinsley, uh, and then the one with James Kinsley and I think Larry Bullard, Gary Simmons, and some other guy, I can't, and Patrick Johnson, and then the one with um, Freddie Ferson, Joe McDonald, um, Harold Ditson, and Eric Summers I mean, that's the same, I think those three truths have been up in every game and series, or every day so far in the postseason. For some reason, I think. Crews weren't always the same, like, for each series, like, they might have changed within a series. I don't count. That's a liner! What a catch! By Donaldson! One down. Here's the defense, or the, uh, here's the twin defense. Nelson Cruz in the outfield. He's not DH in this world. Byron Buston matched up in the outfield. Nate Lau, Luis Arias, Gloria Donald, shot shots in the infield. And Mr. Starr be on the play, obviously, Randy down back on the mound. Randy down back on the mound. DH for the Saints, Fred Jones, DH for the Twins, Jordan Palanco. Now, Three, two count to Smith. That be a, what should that, what should that be a trade from Seattle? Go to first, two down. Here comes Fred Jones. 2020 Southern Lane All Star when he was in Double A. Went from Double A right to the majors. And two, 50, 50, 55, two home runs at RBIs, which in the last episode he had his major league debut. Which I guess I, I, I thought that it wasn't Red Jones' major league debut. That wasn't the title I was playing the Red Sox. Usually that's like almost every title of my franchises, but I believe he went over like three or something, over four or something. I know it, he did a hit, but he did drive in a run on the and then an RBI ground out, so I like over four with a RBI. So he got, and eventually, obviously, it's, it's only like, I've been in the major for like three weeks. He has two home runs already. It's just RBI down 265. One run down. That's all Tapri at 89 feet, charging Donaldson. And then over. And the two is from remain, the Twins won, the Saints won. Nine one two do up for the Twins in the top of the third. Nate Lau and then the top of the order. Right, I want to count. 
I said round ball, and that's gonna be off a Sinel, but even if he got it, he threw it way too late. It's safe. But he would it would have been a base hit anyways because it was a slow chop. And her turn by her butt spin. Oh, down. That's all tapper. It's not almost impossible to hit till he's 98 feet. Second one, first safe. I see him. I hit my. I've seen him with like 98, 9, 97, 98, 99, but he has really good speed. Here's Palanta, one run on the sin, sin draw and scored the only run. By Choi, what a pick by Choi, 2-4-3 double play. Middle three scores, 1-1. One, one. And then Marlon Dundas, former twin. Two on count. I said round ball to Donaldson. So the first one down. There's the American Central Sandins. And you can see the Twins, 82 and 52. They're getting above 500. Um, they're 8 games up on the Indians. And 10 games up on the White Sox. 27 games up on the Royals. And 31 and a half games up on the Tigers. Uh, to see home, yeah, I, I remember I looked through the Dan Lottie Homer bat on Wednesday game but they, they were off yesterday. One, two down. I said, round ball, field it by Lau. Throw it to Dom and he puts him a bat himself. Two down. I heard John Brandon Lau for a with a double and scored the only run. For the Snakes. Two went down. I said, round ball, time tough play, Donaldson, Sharks, and, and because he didn't do his year jump throw. Wow, well, gonna beat it out. Could've gone if you if you did see your jump throw. And here comes Eddie Rosario. One on town. That's a drum. Oh, but done that. Throw on your hand put the wow wow it's way too late. Two runs on, nobody. Two runs on, two outs. Seven name head injury for Rosario. And here comes um, Mossy Meadows, who had a sack block. No, it's just ground downs. But yeah, yeah, it's that fly. Two, three, down. That's a fly ball under his butt then. And he made the catch and then it's over. And the Saints, they're in a pair of runners. With their three, the score is one to one. Arise. He drove in the only run for the Twins. Swung on down. I said, round ball. Feel it by the Doss. Throw the first. Got it. One down. Here comes Nelson Cruz. First player appearance center by Spy and an RBI. And then how official at that, by the way. I said, round ball. Charging as well. Two down. And trying to Mitch Carver flew out in the first. And on down. And he popped it straight up, but it was on the seat. It's one two. On two down. And that is low, two and two. Two two down. That's all number one. Going over his choice. And he will not get that foul ball. And two and two. The twins catcher, Mitch Garber. That is low. Three and two. Don Donaldson on deck. The inning continues. At the round ball. Feeling by a lot of left to set in. The speed throws. Blow is blow. The pitch by G Man Joy. Middle of four is Norman. One to one. Looking at one, one run on three, it's no errors. That's a pop up. He got jammed on to his left as well. And he meant to catch his out there throwing a warning track. One down. Here comes Seaman trying to wind out in the second to a, on a leap in Sano or a leap in. A leap in Donald Sano. I don't know where Sano was. I forgot. He's on my team. Snakes. I was like, where's Sano on the Twins? I traded for him. 
That's a drown ball. It doesn't sound a drown this time. Two down. Aaron John Smith would run out in the second. Run down. That's a drown ball to Donaldson. And it is over. And the Forest Foreman, the Twins won, the Saints won. You're watching Major League Baseball on LB Network. 6, 7, 8, do that for the Twins in the bottom, on the top of the fifth. And Donaldson. I don't count. That's a fly ball. That ball is rod. Retreating his uh, meadows. Link is not catching the edge of the warning track. One down. And then that's Tepler. Two one down. That's a round ball. He punches it through the shift in the center field base set. And Tepler now to one off Sindels. First of the game. And it turns William Thomas. Round town. That's a round one. That could be two. Lau. Gonzalez. Shoy. Double play. Halfway home at here in Minneapolis. The score is one to one. And it turns Fred Jones at DH. Real Harris Town. I said, Ramo, oh, but done that. 89 feet from John, and he stays at first with an infield single. There goes Jones. That's a liner. Hey, the left center if you want Jones running. And Jones is going to be way around third. He will easily score. And the Snakes retake the lead 2 to 1. Here in the bottom of the fifth. And I'll be a double by Gonzalez. The 20th double of the year, and the Saints will take the lead at 2 to 1. Run on down. Foul ball. RBI double by Smiley Dots. 20th double of the year. Run two down. That's a normal bat that down that. Quick throw it allow, and one down. The runner at first, the runner at second stays where he is. The runner at second, it went away now. Allows two or two a double single and scored the first run for the Snakes. One run down. And that's a foul tip in a Darvish glove, one and two. That's a tamper. Going back to second, and Gonzalez showed the first two down. Turned down to John one for two, a single in the third. Two went down. At the ground ball, that ball is through base hit around third and Gonzalez. And it's off the first base line. And Lazaro takes second. Three one snake. And it'll be on single by Lazaro and Vance second on the throw home. Oh, I assume that. that's what they call it. Yeah, chop the single. Sin, uh, chop the center for a single. And then it doesn't say an RBI, but I assume it's, a, it's an RBI. But RBI is sent by Rosario, and advance, he advances the second on a throw. So on count. That's a ball. Almost a done. It's head off. Going around third is Rosario. He'll score. Throw all the way home is not in time. And it's four to one snake. An RBI is sent off by, by Meadows. He almost took that. Almost took. Dominic's head off, one on town, perfect, perfect, at uh, like one and two. Three runs at the end by the snake, it's four to one. That's a bullet, perfect, perfect again. Pass the glove of Donaldson, two runs on, two outs now for the snake in the bottom of the fifth. Uh, uh, here's D Man Choi. I don't know, that Palmer Bailey in the open? And Rich Hill? I was wondering what it was. People. Just three saves. I forgot. I took Rogers from them, and also traded Chaz Row. I mean, they have three long relievers, two middle. There's not a lot of Cody Stashad. The twin bullpen down the right field line. 
Don't really understand. I said Rambo shouldn't you know, arise throws with the announce of the force of enemies and ends over. Or through five is stored now it's name four and the twins won. By the way, um, they scored three runs in that end. The Twins actually, in that, or the Snakes in that end, took their first lead, they, not their second lead, because they never had the lead. The, the Twins got the first run, and the Snakes have that score, so when they took the lead, it, it wasn't retaking the lead. They took their first, I, was just, I said retaking the lead, but I should have said, um, took to their first lead, not retaking the lead. Here we go, one on down. That's Bob Bo. Bo is on the feet, one two. Top of your follow. In the sixth inning, Twins not 12 more outs to work with down by three. That's a liner! That won't be caught, is it gone? It won't be gone, but it won't be caught. And that will be an automatic double. Brown will, or automatic double for Nate Lau. It's 14 double of the year. Despite it says Brown will double, but technically that's not big, not correct. Say um, automatic double or book rule double. I, that's an automatic double. 14th double of the year for Nate Lau. Here's Buxton. That's a ground ball running over a third. Not a hurry for Gonzalez. Got him by half a stack. Runner at third one away now. Got him. That, he has lightning fast speed. Here comes Polanco. A DH. Runner at third one out. Three two down. I said round ball, the run will score. So the first by uh, Gonzalez is in time. So it's an, RB, it's an RBI ground out by Mori po Polanco. Um, and now it's 4 to 2 Snake. So he has cut the Snake lead to 2 at 4 to 2. So an RBI ground out by Polanco. And he has cut the Snake lead to 2 at 4 to 2. No one on 2 outs for a ride after the RBI ground out. 2 1 pounds, a line drive. Come on, shot up by Gonzalez. Throw the first. Got him in and over. The pit led to Shore. One run, one run, one, one run, one hit, no errors, and no errors left for the Twins. It all sit the scores, the Snakes four, and the Twins two. Here comes Fred Jones, who's reached on an infield single last time. Run on town. Alright, this is not Jones, this is Smith. That's a ground ball. And Smith is over two, and now he's one for three. First hit of the game for Smith. First, and that could be it for, um, I mean, down to the entire unit, nine hits, and here comes Cody Stashak. I love it. Ten appearances in the post or ten appearances in the se Ten appearances here in the season. Two on record, no saves, no save opportunities. Twelve in pitch, only 0 .10, 0 0.75 ERA, 15 watts, 15 strikeouts, two watts, 200, 200 average is a brand of and, and, uh, I think, what, 168 average versus Rana Banners? I know it's 100. I think it's 200 average versus Rana Banners, and 186 average versus Left Hand Banners, I think. But it's something in the 100s, I know that. And Cody Stashad has 10 appearances so far in the season. This is 11 appearance. So far, he has 10. He has 10 appearances so far. Ten appearances in the this season. Ten appearances this season for Tony Sasha. This is a this is his eleventh. Here we go. Here comes Jones. That's the drum roll. Back to Sasha. Second one first. Got in double play. And they beat and they doubled up with Speedy Jones. And here comes Gonzalez. One with two with a double RBI and a run scored. Sit it down. That's a line drive. Four. Spear on a hop by Donaldson in and over. And the sixth score remains four to two, Snakes. Four, five, six, two up for the twins in the top bottom. Four, five, six, two up for the twins in the top of the seven. One on town. That's a line drive. Will it be caught? Going to his left is Smith. It won't be caught. And it'll chew off the wall and right center field. And Cruz out of the double. Seven straight in the twins that blow off it. And in with a um, double. 13 double the year for Cruz. And here comes Darwin with a tie and run. Run on down. That's a bullet! And it is caught! Cruz is tatting, and he won't get there. Run at third, one out. 
And then it turns down, so I want to do a final on a ground out. So I'm going to warm up uh, Dado Castillo and the Snake bullpen on the off field line. We have two former twins, Trevor May and Taylor Rogers. We're going on down. That's a fly ball. That's it. Wow. Retreating Smith. He will make the catch in the warning track. But Cruz will tag and he will score. And it's four to three. A run score. The run scores and the lead is trimmed to one at four to three. No one's on. Two outs in the top of the seven. On our count, the Kepler. That's a fly ball. That ball is hit well. Retreating is Rosario. And that ball is over his head. And he overran it. And he slams on the bridge. Throw that to second. Safe. And the time in the center makes it two away. For William Dallas, the former state. And here comes Diego Castillo. 50 appearances this season. 3 and 2 record. 15 homes. 58 one third innings. 309. 3.09 ERA, 46 strikeouts, 26 loss, 226 average with the right handed batters, and a 211 average with the left handed batters. They're ready right now. And the runner, Bolovich is in line for the win. The runner center is responsible of him, so if that run does score, it's charged to him, and he'll deny the decision. Here we go. On our count. That's a ground ball, field of watch, right? Botch! Under him, flipped his chest, the only thing is over. Seven and stretch time here at the Herbert H. Hunter Metronome. Seven and stretch time here at the Herbert H. Hunter Metronome at uh, downtown Minneapolis. The score is four at three snakes. Nine one two jump for the snakes in the bottom of seven. Zanino and then, uh, then the top of the order. Three two count. That's a Roma punched against the shift and Zanino's on. Go over to nine three. Low is, low is nowhere near it. They're starting to arm up. Homer Bailey, one of their three line relievers. Their three line are Fernando Romero, Rich Hill, and Homer Bailey. So, uh, a line reliever, a righty for the twins, starting to arm up in the twin bullpen, and the right field line. Here we go. Going on down. That's a ground ball. That ball is off the middle. Two runs on, nobody out for the Saints in the bottom of the second. Two runs on, nobody out for the, for the Saints in the top and the bottom of the seven, not the bottom of the seven. Two runs on, nobody out. The Snakes in the bottom of the seven. Here we go. One runs out. That's a ground in the left field base hit. They're gonna hold the runner at third as Cruz is throwing a one off straight to Garber. Base is loaded, nobody out. For uh, off the Meadows, three two count. That's a liner foul. Raise it down. That's a draw. That could be two. Second one. First. That is a double play. The run does score, but no RBI for Meadows. Leonard third two outs now, and it's five to three. Snakes from it. Leonard third two outs from Miguel Sano. Five to three. Three on town. That's a fly ball. Ball is hit while well. retreating is Kepler. Like it is, they'll catch by Kepler and it's in the field. When you do a run, uh, six four three double play. Um, Meadows down the end and an no RBI for Meadows. And the seven the score is five to three snakes. Yeah, the, the double point the Meadows down into it. The run didn't score, but no 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 um Meadows did not does not be an RBI. There we go. Three three runners count a lot and that is low. And the leadoff man's on for the twins in the bomb in the top of the eighth. Forty three thousand seven hundred and ninety four is the attendance. The snakes thank you for your support. And here comes Buston. That's a line drive. That ball is down! And it got passed all the way to the wall in right field. It got past Meadows. Going to second is Buston after the delay. He's safe. Two runs in goal position. Nobody out. 27 double of the year for Buston. And here comes Palanca. One by three, a single RBI, which is on a single double point of six three ground out. One by three, a single. RBI on a run throw, and the RBI was on the RBI ground out, not the single. Here we go. 2 2 count of Buxton. Or Palanco. Swing and miss, he got him! 
I hit the outfield you know, should tie it in, but most likely will be there. I heard on the rise. Hit the yeah, outfield most likely ties it in. And I saw the former twin Taylor Rogers and the Snake Bullpen down the off field line. All on count. That's all another the run but third was the runner and third was score. Throw the third got him. The runner at third will score, the runner at Senate stage where he is, an RBI would run up by a rise, and it's five to four. Here comes Cruz over to the double RBI and a, and uh once one for two of the double RBI on a run through and the RBI I was um uh, sat by in the first inning. Here we go. Two one count. Swing and miss on a fast one ninety eight. Two down. Two two count now. That's a ground ball. Punch by Lobby or by Chorin in it but he's just in the band, self manage over. The Saints are uh, the twins at one run back. And then it'll get destroyed now five to four snakes. Here we go. There's Team Man Sean. Run on down. His hit streak on the line. It's a ground wall. And his hitting streak continues. And Buston will cut it off, but that's a hit for Sean. His hitting streak continues. I'm not sure what it is. I just, I didn't know he had a hitting streak. Ten minutes close, but he comes it through the hit. The ten through the eighth, it's a hitting streak. Eleven name hitting streak for the Team Man Sean. And then I'll bring it home a bit. 56 appearances this season, 5 and 8 record, 11 holes, 134 inch pitch, 3.90 ERA, 101 straight up, 53 walks, 2.2 average versus left right handed batter, and a 286 average versus left handed batter. Here we go. 3 2 count. That's a draw after B2. It's not really hard to double them up. Second one, first. Done in double play, but Smith and G No challenge, and 2 down. Here comes Jones. One more through a single. And a run scored. Well, Jonda is faster than Smith. I don't know. That's a ground ball. ball. It's past the Donaldson. And Smith is out. Now it's 2 for 4 with two singles and a run scored. It's 3 for 4 on still. You don't throw on base attempts. 3 on count. There goes Jones. Throw by. Throw by Garvin is on the money. Got him. And then it's over. The Saints uh, team, Twinsy, Twinsy, one on the tie, two to delay in the top of the line. And they bait the score, the uh, Snakes five and the Twins four. Here we got Mitch Garver. 0 for 3 in the game. Um, 5 to 7 do up for the Saints. Uh, 5 to 7 up. 5 to 7 do up for the Twins in the top of the nine. Garver, Donaldson, Kepler. And apparently, Darber has a long injury, too. And here comes his former teammate, Taylor Rogers. Not a closer, but 23 for 24 on saves. And I believe um, 21 out of 23 saves with the Twins. Trying for he has two, 23 saves in the year, two of them, the 27th save and the 23rd save, um, was happened when he was. It's a, the last two saves, were, he, was, he was on the. Snakes. The first 21, he was on the Twins, and then the, la the first 21 he was on the Twins, and the last two was on the Snakes. But it, for his 24th save of the year and third of the Snakes, he went a one on count. Swing and miss, straight kill. Sanders liner and curveball for um, Rogers. That's a liner and Garner sends his hidden streak, and no chance for a nine three. But no, he's not even near covering. He went into the ninth inning and he comes through to his hitting streak. Eleven name hitting streak. And you might maybe see a pinch runner if they have anyone faster. They have anyone faster? And Brian O'Grady will pinch run for Mitch Darber at first. Uh, Brian Art Grady will pinch, pinch run for Mitch Darber at first base. There goes Dar uh, uh, Grady at the drum right to him. He could have made a tad or throw behind and did the double play. 
to tag a grade or to send it to the lead runner, but you, well, I just wanted to sure out a grade and move to the second. You're going to mask up for two or three, a double and a single. Tying on a center base, run away. Run oh, down. Foul ball. Here we go. One, two down. That's a drum up. Bad to Rogers. Two down. And the twins are down in the final out. But hits the outfield should tie it in. The rate is at 68 speed. And it's going to have to Wally Domus. Here we go. Tyner at center base, two outs. Hit the up to tie it in. Five four states. Bands on their feet. The last of the ninth. On the top of the ninth. Or it's not the last of the ninth, but fans on their feet. Twins and. Tw are over 39,000 on their feet. Twins down their final strike and out. One, two down. That's all Tapper. Is it fair? It's feeling by Zanino. Fair ball. The ball, the ball was fair. Barely. Throw to first by Zanino. is in time. And the, and the snake went by full of the twins. And that ball was fair. Throw to first by Zanino. It was in time. And the snake went by four over the twins. They're at the Herbridge Country Metro Room in downtown Minneapolis. Seeing the name comes to an end. Five to four. As... John Bolovich is the win. John Bolovich is the win. John Bolovich is the win. He moves up to 7 1 on the season. Randy, Randy Downton hits the loss. He falls to 11 and 3 on the season. And Taylor Rogers gets the save. Or Taylor Rogers gets the save. He's 24th of the season. Yeah, Taylor Rogers gets the save. He's 24th of the season. Uh, that was a. Good game. Good game, good game, good game. Rogers, well, 24 save of the year. Third, as a snake. Did that Indy team with 21 saves? Because I believe this. And yeah, he's not our closer. Nick Anderson is. It just uh, I kind of wanted to see if. I wanted him to get the save because it, he didn't play in his former team, so yeah. That was a good game. Good game. As. Meadows drove in two, Rosario drove in one, Dodge drove in one, not tro drove in, uh, and then, um, no one drove in that other run because it was on a double play, so you can't get an RBI there. Actually, no, I'm looking at the wrong team. I'm looking at the twins, but Blondo on an RBI, Rise on an RBI, Cruz on an RBI, and then Donaldson on an RBI. And then the only two players in the twins that did a hit was O'Grady, while he pinch ran. So that, and then Donaldson was going on and then did a hit. He's like, Gray never died at that. And then, and then here, the only part of the, everyone on our team got a hit. Wild three, Rosario three, Meadows one, Seno one, Choi one, Smith one, Jones two, Gonzalez one, and Zanino one. Yeah, well, double 15th of the year, Gonzalez 20th of the year, Meadows two RBIs, 49th and 50th. Donald's 58th RBI, and then Rosario 80. Round the double plays Meadows, Smith, and Jones. Top team on Jones second. And then Lawless gets the win, 7 1. And Stewart gets a hold, 17th, and then Rogers saves 24th. And then over here, it was, I mean, Saturday by his five, there was Cruz and Donaldson. RBI's Palando 70th of the year, Cruz 91st, Donald's 58th, Rise 47. Uh, Wilkes Kepler, 24th, Cruz, 13th, Rice, 31st, Buxton, 27th, and Lau, 14th. Um, and then Drown and Double plays Palanco and at Adonis. And yeah, Dominic, Dominic, 11 to 3 now. With five innings, Aishat went 2, and then Bailey went 1, obviously no bottom of 9, because we had the lead. Twins, 4 runs to 9, it's no errors. Snakes, 5 runs to 14, 14, it's no errors. So. I'm not sure what the order is today, but I'm filming this Tuesday night. It should be done up on Wednesday, but later today, or it should be on tip so my NHL, Vinny J and NHL 20 be a pro series, or it could be already up. I assume this video will probably be first, and then the NHL 20 be a pro will be second. But if it's already up, then you probably already know that, but if it's not, it should be done up later today. Um, 
as Nets up Selby and Sandy's in New York at Indy Stadium in the Bronx. Last game of the regular season. Hopefully we make the playoffs. Because if we don't, I'm going to be sad. Okay, I said I'm going to close the note tips out the like button. Subscribe if you have any entire mom, dad, grand, grandpa, aunts, uncles, pets, and friends about these videos. And you know what? I'm going to see on episode number 8 of the Subtract Recent Real Edition Franchise Series. See you in episode number 8 in the Autobate Den and Ghost Nights.